Happy Friday, Fairfax family. Tommy Webster here with your Friday devotional. Today, I'm going to talk about... Dad, can you make me some food? Just a minute. Today, today for today's devotional, I'm going to talk about... Somebody's um, at the door. Hold on just a minute, please. Today, I'm going to talk about... Um, Dad, I being, need help with my test. Hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> today, I'm going to talk about being too busy and being called all the time. I saw my phone light up and I happened to cringe because it was a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while. And he said, do you want to hang out? And I said, uh, yes, I do. But as I began to text him back, I thought, I have too much to do. Too many people want my time. Too many people want time that I feel like I can't spare. I'm leaving town Saturday. I'm not going to be back. So I texted him an apology and I said, hey, let's hang out when I get back. He said, sure, when you get back, fine. So I knew he was disappointed because at church on Sunday, he looked tired. He looked weary worn. And I didn't realize uh, his life too was that busy and he needed some time to talk with a friend. I later learned as I ran into another friend at a coffee shop that my friend had spoken to this other friend and that he began to cry when he just asked, how are you doing? And he talked about how much life had worn him down. Ashamed, I confessed that he had asked me to talk and I was just terribly busy. I was too busy for my friend. And then I got to think, does this mean I was too busy for God? So ashamed, that evening I prayed and I got together and I said, God, Help me see that in this busy season of life that I can still make time for you, still make time for people that need me, an important part of me, and help me to lean on people that I need an important part from them. So I read um, Leviticus 19, 9 and 10. Hear what it says. It says, When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to the edge. Neither shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest, and you shall not strip your vineyard bare, neither shall you gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I am the Lord your God. That's Leviticus 19 again, 9 and 10. So what does this command have to do with our modern day lives? Well, most of us don't own a vineyard, but we own a calendar. And I would venture to guess if this was written today, it would read something like this. Do not fill every minute of your day. Do not strip your energy reserves bare. Don't seek to gather up those quiet minutes at stoplights, but stops or in the line. Leave room. Create margin for the friend or the foreigner you may come along and need to glean a little of that time from. In truth, our time is not our own. Leaving margin in our day is a reminder to surrender our days to Him and allow Him to determine our steps. What happens when the unexpected presents itself in your day? How can you create a little space for those chance encounters God might have for you? Well, I have to go now because lots of people need my time and I bet lots of people need your time and people are wanting you not just to fill those empty little things of food of shopping, of just needless things that we think. But look at these encounters as time we get to be with each other. Somebody may need that time with you because they love you and because you can fill a void that no one else can and help them to see that God can fill a void that no one else can. Let us pray. Father God, your heart beats for the hurting and broken you long to use us as ambassadors of your love. We confess we have been too consumed with our own agenda, so forgive us. We lay our to-do list before you and ask that you would direct our steps this day. Open our eyes and hearts to the people around us. Use us today to glorify your name. Amen. Have a great week.